Hello, thank you for joining me. See, in the last video we did some uh, vertical modifications. In the previous video of that, we did some horizontal modifications, both our camera and our path. So in this video, what I'd like to do is show you uh, how to do uh, the other elevation on the east side of the building and make the modifications to the points that are stacked up along these stairs. So if you remember right, this is what our camera looked like. What's it doing up there? Okay, that was a different walkthrough. Sorry about that. Walkthrough 2 is what we want to show. Yeah, that's the one. So let's go to edit walkthrough. I do have a walkthrough upstairs that I probably could show you later if you like. So if you remember, we're coming down the driveway, coming up to the front of the house where the garage doors are, going up the stairs and into the front door. That's going to be the extent of our walkthrough in this one. And then as a final demonstration, I'll show you what I did with the other walkthroughs and show you how we did that. Or show you the result of that. So, okay, enough talking. Let's go to Reese Elevation and make modifications to our walkthrough here. So let's go to Edit Walkthrough as long as we got unhighlighted. And instead of Active Camera, we're going to go to the Path Mode and we're going to move some of these points around. So uh, it does that every time. You have to click in here in order to manipulate your middle mouse button. And no, oh, no. I'm going to go to that Path, and you know it's just frustrating sometimes trying to deal with that. But I think we'll get that okay. So. We're going to make that, we're going to move this one up a little bit. That's the end point, that's where our camera's going to end. So we're, it uh, looks like a couple feet above our railing. So we're going to maintain that and move those up. Now let's go back to the active, active camera and take a look at that. So our camera's down here, so let's go ahead and move it up the stairs. And because it's looking right at us, uh, we're not going to have much of an ability to uh, make alterations of that. But let's say here, we're going to take that camera and again we're going to look down at the stairs. And then at this point, we're going to look up a little bit more towards the house because remember this point if you move our camera to that point it's actually looking more at the house. This is where it's actually going to be looking at at the front of the house so that looks like it's pretty good. Hey, some, of, some of these other editing capabilities you find up in the options bar add a keyframe but that means you're adding a camera let's say we don't have many camera positions up here and we want to make our stairway go a little bit slower let's go ahead and add a keyframe we'll plop one here and then we'll plop one here. That'll make us go up the stairs a little bit slower. And let's see if we can get that active camera back and move that down and make modifications to the to that frame. So if you remember right, we were kind of looking down here, and then as we we're getting up towards the top, we we're looking up a little bit uh, higher up the stairs, and that seems to be in a pretty good position. So I think that'll work out. If you want to delete, which is the final option over here, remove keyframes, you could do that simply by clicking clicking on one of these and then removing it. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to do a control Z and bring that one back. Oh, ready to go. I show the camera, edit, active camera, and there it is. It came back. Good. Okay. Yes, we want to exit it. And in the next film, let's go ahead and take a look at our handiwork.